the last summit, the last Airbus summit, that was the second one, was in November, December 2022. Uh, we are um, at the end of the first quarter of 25. So we thought it was a good time uh, to take stock of all what we have done, to gather stakeholders um, and uh, reflect on the new challenges, on the new situation, and make sure that the way forward, that the priorities, that the initiatives we have make sense in this uh, new environment. It's a way to uh, look forward, to gather people and, and get questions, get uh, challenged as well uh, on what we're doing, uh, to make sure we keep doing the right things and also to give some energy so that we can be at the right pace. Decarbonization is a part of our purpose. Uh, our purpose is to pioneer sustainable aerospace for a safe and united world and therefore decarbonization of aviation is what we believe contributes to sustainable aviation. We have four main levers uh, to decarbonize. The first one is to deliver our current generation of aircraft to replace older ones that are burning by far more fuel and therefore emitting more carbon. Uh, the second one is to prepare the next generation of planes that will be uh, significantly more fuel efficient and contribute to, um, to decarbonizing. Uh, the third one is to um, uh, basically uh, work on air traffic management and optimize the way aircraft um, are being used. And last but not least, we are working on the ramp up of the new fuels of the so-called sustainable aviation fuel, or also the, the hydrogen. So working on fuel emitting less carbon when they are used in the plane. Working for decarbonization, we are preparing the next generation of airplanes. Um, it's important to replace the F320, uh, which is what we are selling to the world uh, for the, the single aisle uh, activity, for the uh, short and medium range um, uh, connections in the world. And this aircraft will primarily be a much more fuel efficient aircraft. We are targeting 25% um, less uh, fuel consumption and therefore 25% less CO2 emissions. That's very important because that will also help uh, going to 100% use of SAF, which is uh, also what we need to do to get to um, carbon neutrality by 2050. But we're also working on more disruptive airplanes, in particular through um, our hydrogen project, our Zero E project, where we want to use hydrogen that has the benefit of not putting any carbon in the air when used in an aircraft. And here we're giving priority to uh, the potential of the fuel cell uh, that is an, uh, a way to use uh, hydrogen on board, creating electricity and therefore having an electric plane. So different ways of addressing the, the, the future with uh, strong evolutions um, and also some revolutions potentially through hydrogen.